Uh, nickname's the Panda. And I think every time I give a slightly different answer, but uh, it you know, started a few years ago when I was wearing a black and white helmet and my coach just said I had the Panda touch on snow, whatever that meant. And just kind of looking like a Panda with my big white and black helmet and furry beard and looking big and rotund in my all my ski gear. And also from Kung Fu Panda, having a very similar personality to Poe, the main character, and I think it just kind of stuck with me, and that's been me ever since. In my tights, there's not a lot of places to put extra luggage, so to speak. So I just stuck, carefully placed the loonie inside of my suit, and then at the end of one of the runs, the only people that were actually allowed on the hill at that time were racers, and then obviously security everywhere, and the snipers in, in the forest and the bushes and stuff. So um, it came down through the finish line. There's constant racers coming coming down around me, so I kind of stopped and was getting stared at by all the security guards and soldiers, you know, with guns. I dug up a portion of the red line and not in the middle of the run because there's people going around, but kind of near near the edge. Dug up the the red line with my ski. Tried to remember where I buried this loony, stuck it in the snow, buried it, and went home. Got up the next morning, did my thing, and the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> Eight knees, four full ACLs. On top of that, four substantial scope surgeries, taking out cartilage and fixing meniscus and stuff like that. Um, small back surgery after the Olympics. Hand surgery, <laughs> thumb surgery, all sorts of little surgeries, but I think the knees are really the ones that are giving me, you know, the constant grief. Scared and excited for the new day to come. Only God knows that. <laughs> That's where we're heading. <laughs>